kit produced by Round 2. It is a 5 rocket set. It's uh, got Saturn V, the Saturn 1B, the Mercury Redstone, Mercury Atlas, and Gemini Titan. Uh, for those of you that are history inclined, these are the missiles that sent the United States into space. Uh, opening the box has instructions in English. appears to be Spanish or French and German. You have a full sheet for your uh, decal applications. As you can see the decals look to be quite uh, detailed. The instructions, and since I only read English, will stay on the English portion. Um, the instructions are quite detailed, given the, the, the kit that it is. Gives a brief write-up of each uh, spacecraft. Saturn 1B, Mercury Atlas, Redstone, and then finally the monster of all rockets, the Apollo Saturn 5. Uh, instructions are quite, quite straightforward. The kit comes bagged in three pieces, if you will. And of course, you have your typical round two propaganda in here. And of course, another set of uh, instructions which I did not see. decals. Other reviews I've seen on these models are that the decals are quite detailed. These are your standard water slide decals. As you can see, the tracing marks, the tracking marks for each of the uh, spacecraft wraparounds, United States logos. Seems to be a very good kit. Also has to have, also happens to have the a fold out for a display base where you can have your launch gantry, if you will. Mobile launch platform and what appears to be a mock up of one of the 39 series launch complexes at uh, Kennedy Space Center. Well, that's all the paperwork that's in the box. Let's get into each of the As you can see there's some small pieces that are floating around that are broken out because of uh, transport. Right, let's make our incision. The trees are labeled Gemini Titan. Okay, you do have some sprue, some bleed over that you're going to have to trim out. Um, these smaller pieces, of course, you're going to have to be real careful with because they will break. You have your Atlas Mercury here, your Mercury Redstone. Um, Mercury Redstone was Alan B. Shepard and Gus Grissom. The Atlas took the later flights, so you can see you get your nose cones and launch platform apparatus. And then you can see that even though this is a 1 to 200 scale, 
this is obviously for the Saturn rocket it does have quite a bit of good detail on it you can see the ribbing and the external piping uh, the nozzles while they may not be exactly per scale you know we're not going to fly this thing it's not going to go to the moon uh, and then as you can see what broke off the uh, capsule and the one of the heat shields that's bag one definitely would suggest having a good model knife or an exacto knife of some type uh, this is the upper assemblies for what would be the Saturn 1B and the Saturn 5 both of which uh, carried the lunar module and as you can see you have your your LEM, Lunar Excursion Module, you have the legs of the LEM or the spider as they used to call it, the command module, the uh, cone that held the LEM, the service module, if I already didn't say that, the capsule, uh, the escape gantry, and you see you have pretty much two trees, the same. One is for the Saturn V and one will be for the Saturn, Saturn 1B. Um, again, both of those rockets did carry the Yelly, carry the LEM. Uh, <clears throat> and then the final bag final bag carries the lower area for the Saturn rockets again you can see there's a lot of a lot of stuff's going to need to be trimmed off but when you consider that this is uh, on the average of six dollars per rocket it's, it's uh, actually not a bad not a bad price at all and here you are with the Saturn 1 B. Okay, first stage of the 1 B. Obviously, the stages that would attach with it. A little bit of discoloration on this one. As you can see here, it might be just with this particular. Um, might be with just the way this particular one came out of the molds but that's the way it is so that's the breakdown and the unboxing of the man in space by AMT now my particular reason for doing this is there's a Boy Scout Merit Badge, which is called the Space Exploration Merit Badge. And one option that you have is to launch a model rocket. Actually, you would launch the model rocket twice. However, uh, given local rules and regulations, proximity to airports, proximity to other areas, you can't launch these. Um, you're unable to launch the rocket, if you will. So what we're doing is we are building a NASA rocket which is the acceptable alternative to launching a model rocket and that uh, will be done using this uh, this will take care of this will allow five scouts to build a one rocket each uh, and it will allow us to structure our, our uh, curriculum if you will around explaining how each of these rockets fit into space and where is the United States program going. So if you got any questions, um, 
make a comment. Uh, if you don't like it, make a comment. I reserve the right to uh, not respond. So, uh, hope you all enjoyed the video and uh, have a great day.